I'm Joan Epler. Welcome to Good Thoughts Podcast. Please join with Dr. Gary Epler, America's health doctor. Dr. Epler discovered the Eplerian life philosophy for living your best life at home and at work. Today, we're going to apply this to having negative or difficult people in your life. I'm Dr. Gary Epler. The new way of life is to know where you're thinking from, and that's who you are. You can use the neural pathway bypass technique for eliminating stress from a mean boss, coworker, or other negative people. What do you mean by a neural pathway? A neural pathway is a highway of neurons in the brain with a beginning and an end. Neurons are those brain cells that have a long thread-like axon to transmit information to other cells. A neural pathway is started from a person or an event and ends with an emotional response that may be negative, neutral, or positive. Can you give an example? After several weeks or months after you've had a new boss, you realize the boss is a controlling, self-centered person who does not hesitate to publicly humiliate employees and make them feel bad about themselves. This has created a toxic environment based on fear. As a result, you begin to develop a negative neural pathway that's triggered by anything related to the boss such as seeing the name, seeing a text or an email, or hearing the name. Stress is the end of this negative neural pathway. Every time the pathway is triggered, it causes stress. With increased blood pressure, increased breathing, sweaty palms, and a knot in the stomach, the stress can certainly spiral out of control. This response is from a cemented neural pathway in the brain. That sounds dreadful. What can you do? Build a neural pathway bypass. How do you build a neural pathway bypass? Now you know that a neural pathway is a highway that has a beginning and an end. So build a new one with a positive beginning and a positive ending that will bypass that old negative pathway causing stress. How do you do that? The method is easy and only takes one to two minutes every day. However, discipline is needed because this process is needed for a non-interrupted two-week period. What do you do? In the morning, visualize the image of that negative person in your life and let it trigger the stress feelings in the pit of your stomach. You can do this during your morning routine, exercise program, or during a morning run or walk. Picture the person and feel the stress. Then what? When the feelings of discomfort develop, begin saying two soothing words to yourself repeatedly, such as love and peace. Say the words over and over until a feeling of that anger subsides, usually in less than two minutes. That's all there is to it. Feel the stress and repeat love and peace over and over for one to two minutes. Could you give a real life example? Let's say that Sarah has a controlling, cruel boss who is causing daily stress leading to an unhealthy life. Day one, during her early morning run, she triggered that knot in her stomach by visualizing her boss berating her. She repeated love and peace to herself over and over and found, to her surprise, in less than two minutes, the feeling completely disappeared and was replaced by a soothing feeling. Then what happened? The the calming feeling didn't last long. The instant she saw her boss's car in the parking lot, that anguish immediately returned. This is expected. The aberrant neural pathway took months or years to create, and it will take time to build a bypass. What happened next? During her morning run, the tightening in her stomach quickly returned as she visualized her boss. 
But again, she was pleasantly surprised to find it was replaced with a soothing feeling after repeating love and peace for about one minute. She continued the exercise for several more days every morning. What happened then? On the seventh day, something unusual happened. She visualized her boss, but she had difficulty triggering that unpleasant feeling in her stomach. This was strange, and she didn't believe it at first. Gradually, during the next several days, no matter how hard she tried, she could not trigger the fear and anguish when she visualized her boss. It was a wonderful experience. That's amazing. What happened at work after building the positive neural pathway? This new development gave her a renewed feeling of strength. After two weeks, Sarah realized that when she saw her boss or heard the name at work, it meant nothing to her. She had no fear and no stress. Her face appeared serene. Several days passed and her boss came storming into one of Sarah's team meetings and was about to begin the usual verbal public lashing. However, Sarah stood up, standing about 12 inches away from her boss's nose. She looked directly at the pupils in her boss's eyes and smiled. At that moment, Sarah had an overwhelming feeling of calmness with no increased heart rate, no anger, and no fear. The boss blinked a couple of times, looked at Sarah's face, said nothing, and left the room. Months of hostility ended abruptly. The boss found someone else to torment. Sarah returned to her work full of energy and enjoyed her creative work. She was so successful, she soon left this position and moved to a higher paid, and more enjoyable job. Sounds like the neural pathway bypass works. Have a mean boss or someone else in your life causing stress? Every day for two weeks, visualize the person, develop the knot in your stomach, and say love and peace to yourself over and over, one to two minutes every day for two weeks. The stress will be eliminated. Do you have any closing comments? If you find yourself upset, and in a negative feedback loop about a person that causes stress, use the neural bypass technique to eliminate the stress. You regain your strength, your creativity returns, you are a stronger person. It's simple to use, only one to two minutes every day, and repeat for two weeks. If successful, it will eliminate the stress triggered by the negative people in your life. This is Joan Epler and Dr. Gary Epler closing this Good Thoughts podcast. Best wishes for good health and a great day.